Good morning, everyone. I hope you've all had a good week so far. Welcome to the third week of our wellness YouTube channel. My name is Marguerite, and I'm the McMillan Move More Advisor across the Wandsworth Borough. And this morning, I'm going to take you through a 45-minute moderate intensity exercise class. For this class, you will need a nice sturdy chair to sit on, one without any arms if possible. Um, there's also the option to add in some weights to some of the exercises. So for this, you can add some uh, dumbbells, uh, two tins of canned food, which is what I'll be using, filled drink bottles, milk cartons, anything you can get your hands on. Of course, all the exercises can also be done without any weights. Um, I'd also recommend that you grab a drink or a glass of water to ensure you stay hydrated throughout the class. Please remember to only um, do what you can and go at your own pace. Um, don't do any exercises that you don't feel comfortable with doing. If you need to stop and have a break, have a drink at all throughout the class, please do so. Um, if you're feeling unwell or sick in any way, please refrain from doing the class. If throughout the class you begin to feel sick or unwell, um, please do stop immediately and only return back to the um, exercises once you are feeling better. If you are unsure of the exercises I go through are safe for you to do, um, I'll leave our contact details below um, so you can get in touch and we can provide some one-on-one -on -one support and book you in for an initial consultation. So we're going to begin uh, with our warm-up today. So uh, we don't need up chair or wait for the meantime. We just got to begin by marching on the spot at a nice comfortable pace. Arms hanging down by our side. Just walking gently. All right, I'm going to start picking up the knees a little bit. Swinging those hands a little bit higher as well. Really picking up those knees now. Hands got a slight bend in them. This one you're a little bit higher as well. Excellent. Now we're going to take our feet behind us now. We're going to do what's called a butt kick. So three, two, one, flicking your foot back, getting a wee rhythm going with this movement as well, keeping those arms in there. All right, we're going to go back to our march in three, two, one, back to our march. Just go in a rhythm that suits you. All right, and back to our butt kick in three, two, one, butt kick. Excellent. A little bit longer. Going back to our march. Three, two, one. Marching. All right, we're going to come to a stop. We're going to start opening up some of our upper body and starting with the neck roll. So chin on our chest. We're going to go in a clockwise direction for five circles. So just moving your neck. One more time. Excellent. Now we're going to go in the opposite direction for five. So chin back on the chest. Going in an opposite circular movement. One more time. Great, and now we're going to open up our shoulders. We're going to do a circular movement and our shoulders going in a forwards direction to start with. Keeping those hands down by your side. All right, changing directions, going backwards. Great, now we're going to open our chest. 
hands close together, straight out in front of us, we're going to separate our hands, taking them as far back as is comfortable, popping our chest forward for one, two, three, slowly release back to centre, do this twice more, one, two, three, excellent, one more time, one, two, three, all right, going back to that march. Arms and legs in it. Of course, if you need just your feet, put your hands on your hips. All right, we're going to change the direction of where our arms are going. We're going to do some punches. We're going to start by just punching straight out in front of us. Three, two, one. We're just punching straight out in front. Alright, we're going to change directions, we're going to punch straight up above in 3, 2, 1, straight up above. Excellent. Alright, changing that direction yet again, we're going to go down and across the body. 3, 2, 1, down and across. So it's a little bit more difficult to get a good rhythm in. All right, again, we're going to go across the chest. In three, two, one, across the chest. So right across the body. All right, three, two, one, and we'll come to a stop. Grab into that chair for stability. We're going to do some ankle circles starting with our right foot. We're going to keep our left foot flat on the floor, lift up that right foot. Five circular movements in a clockwise direction. And then five in the opposite direction. Excellent. Right foot down, picking up that left foot. Clockwise direction to start with. Excellent, changing directions. Perfect, popping those feet down. We're going to do some calf raises. Holding onto that chair, we're just going to raise our heels above the, off the ground, keeping our toes in contact with the floor. One more. Great, we're going to go to marching. Right now we're going to change the direction of our feet and we're going to do some toe taps out in front of us. Three, two, one, tapping our toe out in front, keeping those arms in it. Right, sticking with this direction, but we're going to change from our toe tap to a heel tap, so tapping that heel down on the floor. Excellent. All right, we're going to change direction, go back to a toe tap. This time we're going to go out to the side. Three, two, one. All right, toe tap into the side. Either hands down by your side on your hips or hands in going with the movement. So this is called a standing jack and we're going to do this a couple times throughout the class today. Everyone's done this feel nice and warm as we come to the end of our warm-up. We've got a few more movements to do. All right, we'll do this one more on each side. One, two, excellent. We're just going to open up our hips, holding on to that chair for support, keeping our left foot flat on the floor, raising our right hip to hip height. We're going to open up our hip. We're going to take our right leg away from centre as if we're climbing over a fence, tapping it down on the floor, 
back up to hip height and back to center. There was four more times. One more. Great, and we'll change to our left leg. Then on the other side of that chair, right foot flat on the floor. Left knee up to hip high, opening up, tapping on the floor, and then back to start. One more. Excellent. Move that chair out of the way. Let's go do some abdominal twists. Pop one hand on top of the other. We're just going to twist to the right and then twist to the left. One more each side. Great. Now we're going to put our right hand up straight on this ear. Left hand down by our side. We're going to lean to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Left arm up to the right. One, two, three, four, five. One more time on each side. Last one. Great, shaking those hands, shaking those feet, shaking that body. Excellent, that is our warm up done and dusted. I hope you're all feeling ready for the class ahead. Please grab a drink if you need. Um, this is where you can add in those weights if you're going to do so. So I'm gonna grab my tins of food. Um, so the layout for this class is we've got four sets of exercises. Um, in each set, there are three strength-based exercises and then uh, finishing off with a 45 second cardio burst. So we'll do each set twice before we move on to the next set. So for set one, we're gonna start in the upper body, we're gonna do some elbow side extensions. So it's good for the upper part of our arms. So we're gonna take our elbows up to shoulder height. We're gonna put our hands in front of our chest with our palms facing inwards. Then we're gonna extend our elbows whilst we're rotating our forearms so that our palms are now facing outwards. Then we're going to, so that arms are nice and straight shoulder height. Then we're going to bend in our elbows, bring our hands back to our chest, facing inwards. So we're going to do that 10 times, starting in three, two, one. Two, three, Good job, everyone. This one's a bit of a killer on the hands, on the arms, sorry. Five, five more. Eight. Nine, one more. Ten. Excellent. Popping those weights down, we're going to grab our chair for our next exercise. We're going to do some modified knee lifts. So this is a good um, exercise for our lower body. It's also very good for our, our core as well. So it's important that we keep a nice straight back and we don't lean back. Um, when we do this exercise, we're going to start with our feet flat on the floor, knees together, clasping onto the bottom of that chair to help you. We're going to keep our back nice and straight. We're going to lift our knees up as high as we can and then release back down to starting, and that's one. So do 10 of these. So it's important to remember to breathe. So we're inhaling as we raise up our knees and exhaling as we put them down. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Excellent. We're going to grab one weight for our next one. It's a good abdominal exercise. We're going to do some wood chops. So we're going to hold um, our weight with both our hands. We're going to start on our left hand side. 
slight bend in our um, hands as we have it behind our head. And what we're going to do is we're going to go across our body, bending our knees down to as low as is comfortable for us, and then back up to starting, and that's one. We'll do five on each side. Here we go. Four, five. Excellent. Changing sides. Just behind uh, here on the right hand side, slight bend in the arms, taking it down across our body. Five. Excellent. Weight down. We're going to do our standing jacks. So we did this in the warm-up, so it's toe tapping to the side, lift our arms um, up in the air, starting in three, two, one, 45 seconds. Get a nice rhythm going that suits you. Five, we've done 15 seconds, 30 to go. This kind of verse really elevates the heart rate. And then we'll go back to do all these exercises one more time. 20 more seconds to go. Three, two, one. Good job, everyone. Do those all one more time. Grabbing our weight, going back to our elbow side extension. Elbows up to shoulder height. Hands in front of our chest, um, facing inwards, extending in our elbows, palms now facing outwards, arms at shoulder height. That's five, we've got five more. Seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Excellent. Popping those weights down. We're going to do our modified knee lifts. Sitting on our chair, feet together, knees together, hands holding under the chair, back nice and straight, lifting our knees up as high as we can. Five, five more. Seven, eight, nine, one more. Ten. Excellent. Going back to our abdominal exercise, our wood chop. So now our left hand side, holding that weight with both hands behind our head, knees slightly bent, and we're going to take it down and across our body. One more on the side, five, excellent, changing sides, right side, down and across our body. Three, four, one more, five, excellent. Back to our um, standing jacks for 45 seconds and three, two, one, here we go. Again, getting the rhythm that suits you. We are almost at the end of set number one. It's 20 seconds done. Fifteen more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, everyone. Grab a drink if you need. But I'll go moving on to set number two.
So again, we'll start with our upper body. We're going to do a chest press, holding our weights in our hands. Again, taking our elbows to shoulder height. This time, our hands up above. We're going to keep our elbows at shoulder height, and we're going to slowly bring our elbows and our hands to meet in the middle. And then slowly release back to start, and that's one. So do 10 of those. So number six, four more. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Excellent. Put those weights down. Going to move to our lower body. So keeping that chair there for support if we need. Going to have our feet about hip width apart. We're going to do some um, squats. So holding on to that chair, we're going to push our bottom back, going down as far as it's comfortable for us, and then coming back up. So I'll show you from side on, so holding on to that chair, feet about hip width apart, pushing your bottom back, squatting down as if you're going to sit on a chair, and then back up. Only go as far as it's comfortable for you. Pass your squat like this, completely fine. So we're going to do 10 of those. Three, two, one. So number five, we've got five more. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Excellent. We're going to our abdominals now, seated in our chair. We're going to do a seated cycle crunch. So this one takes a little bit of coordination. We're going to have our hands behind our ears. We're going to lift up one of our feet, so we'll start with our left, and we're just going to twist so our elbow and our knee are kind of meeting, or as far as it's comfortable for you. So we're going to do 10 of those, starting in three, two, one. So just a slight twist of your body, as if you're going to get your elbow and your knee to touch. Two more. Excellent. Standing up for our wee cardio burst. We're going to do some punches. So we did this in the wall as well. This time we're going to have our feet about hip width apart, slight bend in our knees, and we're going to punch straight out and across our body for 45 seconds, starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So keeping a nice slight bend in those knees, feet flat on the floor, and punching out as fast and as hard as you can. 15 seconds down, 30 to go. Fifteen more seconds. Picking up the pace a little bit if you can. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work. One more time of each of those exercises. Grabbing our weights for our chest press. Elbows up to shoulder height. Hands up above. Feet flat on the floor. Bringing our elbows and hands to meet in the middle. And then back now to starting. That's one. Nine more to go. Seven, eight, nine. 
One more. Ten. Excellent. Weights down. Back to our spots. Grabbing that chair for stability. Holding on to the back of it. Think about hip width apart. Pushing our bottom back. And just going down as far as is comfortable for us. Back to a straight position. So keeping that back nice and straight. Two more. Ten. Excellent. Sitting back in that chair. Doing our seated cycle crunch. Hands behind our ears. Starting on our left leg. Twisting our body. Right elbow in the direction of our left leg. And alternating sides. Eight, nine, ten. Great. Standing up, we're going to do our cardio first, our punches for 45 seconds. We'll start in four, three, two, one. Slight bend in our knees and punching straight in front of us. If you can, picking up that speed a little bit, but remembering to go at a comfortable pace at the beginning. If you need to stop and have a break at all, please do so. Grab a drink, return when you're ready. Fifteen more seconds to go, and then we are done with set two. Five, four. Three, two, one. Excellent. Grab a drink if you need it. We're going to move to our third set. We are halfway. We're going to start with our upper body again, grabbing those weights. We're going to do an upright row. So we're going to stand with our feet so width apart. Hands in front of our thighs, palms facing inwards. And we're going to bring our hands straight up. So there's now sitting in front of our chest still, palms facing inwards, elbows at shoulder height, and then returning back to start, and that's one. So I do 10 of those. Seven. Eight, nine, one more, ten. Great, popping those weights down, moving down to our lower body. Great, then it cheer again for um, stability. We're going to do a side lunge. So we're going to start with our feet close together. We're going to step to the left, keeping our feet both facing forwards, and we're going to transfer our weight onto our left side. So our left leg is now bent, right leg is straight, and we're going to go back to standing up, feet together, and then we'll do it again. So we'll do 10 on each side. So feet together, stepping to the left, transferring weight to our left hand side, keeping our feet nice and straight, back to starting and feet together. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Excellent. So with the other side, holding onto that chair, transfer our weight to the right, and then back together. Seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. 
Excellent. We're going to do a side bend of our abdominals. So we're going to start with the left side, hand, right hand behind our right ear, left hand bend it uh, straight down the side. We're just going to bend 10 times to the left. So as if you're going to pick something up off the floor, just bending across as far as is comfortable for you. Eight, nine, one more, ten, excellent, changing size, left hand behind left ear, bending down to the right. One more. Ten. Excellent. Gonna do our cardio boost. We're gonna go back to our standing jack. We'll start in three, two, one. Forty-five seconds. It's ten seconds done. Five seconds done, twenty more to go. Always there, ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work. We will go back to the start with our upright rows. Bit about shoulder width apart. Um, hands in front of our thighs facing inwards, raise now, elbows up to shoulder height, hands now in front of our chest and back down. Nine more to do. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, one more, ten, excellent, copy those down, we'll do our side lunges, we'll start on our left hand side again, feet close together, stepping to the left, transferring our weight, and then back down, back to centre. Five, five more. Seven, eight, nine, one more on the side. Ten, excellent. Jumping onto the other side of that chair, stepping to the right, transferring our weight, and then back to centre. Nine, one more, ten, excellent, we'll do our side bends, right hand um, behind right ear, left hand down by the side, leaning to the left ten times. Eight. Nine, one more, ten, excellent. Now to the right hand side. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent, and now we'll do our standing jacks for 45 seconds. Ready, see, there you go. 
All right, this is the end of set number three. We've got one more set after this, and then we are done for the day. Thirty more seconds. Fifteen more seconds, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Grab a drink if you need. We're on to our fourth and final set. Again, starting with that upper body, grabbing my weights. We're going to do our bicep curl and shoulder press to start with. So if you're having a quick break, I'll go through the movement. So hands down by your side, elbows in at your body, palms facing forward, bending at our elbows, palms now at our shoulders, resting our, rotating our wrists, palms outwards, and then pressing above our head, hands back down to shoulders, rotating our wrists, and then lowering back down to start. So that's one, we'll do this 10 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Excellent. We're going to sit down for our lower body exercise. We're going to open up those hips with a bit of hip abduction. We're going to start with our feet flat on the floor, knees together. And we're going to raise, hold on to the bottom of that chair, keeping our back nice and straight, raising our feet ever so slightly off the floor, and then separating our hips out. So our hips are now open, and then bring back to centre, and that's one. We'll do ten of those. So you don't have to raise your feet high off the ground. Just enough that we don't drag. So just opening up your um, hips, separating your legs as far as it's comfortable for you. Don't strain too much. Nine. One more. 10. Excellent. We'll stand up. We're going to do some abdominal twists. So we did this in the warm up as well. One hand on top of the other. We're going to do 10 to the right and then 10 to the left. So twisting. Back to centre. So that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. So just twisting as far as it's comfortable for you. One more, 10, excellent, 10 to the left. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10, Back to that cardio burst, 45 seconds, starting in 3, 2, 1. We're doing some punches again. Slight bend in your knees, feet flat on the floor, about hip width apart, and just punching straight out in front of you. 45 seconds. Good job, everyone. We've got 15 more seconds. Five, 
five, four, three, two, one. Good job. We've got one more round to do of those and then we are done. Going back to our bicep curl and shoulder press. Hands down by our side when we're ready. Pressing above our head. Back down to starting. That's one. Five, halfway, eight, nine, one more, ten, excellent. Great, popping those weights down. Back to our hip abduction on the chair. Feet flat on the floor, holding onto the bottom of our chair, lifting our feet up over so slightly off the floor, opening up our hips, and then bring them back together. That's number three. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, excellent, we're going to stand up, we're going to do our abdominal twist, two more exercises to go, one hand on top of the other, feet nice and flat and four, ten twist to the right. Seven, eight, nine, one more this side, ten, excellent, back to centre, ten to the left. Six, seven, eight. Nine, one more, ten, excellent, we're almost there, we've got 45 seconds of punches and then we are done. We're starting three, two, one, here we go. Slight bend in our knees, punching straight off in front, as hard as and fast as we can. This is our last exercise of the day. 15 seconds gone, 30 seconds to go. Almost there, the end is in sight. Fifteen more seconds. Come on, guys, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job everyone, that is our class done and dusted. We'll finish off with some stretches. We'll start with our lower body. We'll put our left foot in front of our right foot. We'll put a slight bend in our front leg, our left leg, keeping our back leg nice and straight. So bend, oops, bend in our um, front leg, back leg nice and straight, holding onto something for support if you need. We should feel that down the lower um, uh, back of our lower leg. Excellent, changing legs, putting that right leg in front, left leg behind, slight bend in the left and the right leg, back leg nice and straight. Great, all right, grab into that chair for stability. We're going to do a quad stretch, so we're going to bend our um, bend our leg behind us. So you can just hold it like this, or you can grab your foot 
your ankle if you can, otherwise your trouser um, legs, or just holding it there like that. Right, and changing legs, holding onto that chair still to help with our balance. Excellent. All right, we'll take our right arm across our chest, wrapping our left arm under it, pulling it closer to our chest, putting it in our right shoulder. All right, and changing arms, left arm across the body, right arm curling under, pulling it closer to our chest, feeling it in that left shoulder. Popping our arm straight up above, bending to the left, Just changing arms, left arm up, bending to the right, one more time on each side. Right, let's sit down and do a hamstring stretch. So we're going to put our right foot, uh, sorry, our right foot forward, heel on the floor, left foot flat on the floor, both hands on our right thigh, lean slightly forward, feeling in the back of our thigh there. Great, and changing, extending out our left leg, heel on the floor. Both hands on our left thigh and bending forward, again feeling it down the back of our thigh. Great, we'll stand up again. We'll give our hands a bit of a shake, legs a bit of our shake, body a bit of a shake. We'll do a couple of deep breaths in and out, deep breath in. And out, one more, deep breath in, and out. Thank you everyone for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the class. Um, if you would like some more information about the Move More service um, or for one-on-one -on -one physical activity support, please to give us um, either an email at waccg.movemorewandsworth at nhs.net or you can give me a call on 07887640652. I'll also leave those contact details below. Please do get in touch if you have any questions. Um, have a good day, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will hopefully see you at the same time next week. Thank you.